Hi everyone, I got a request recently to uh, do a video about Katago. So Katago is another um, AI or uh, engine that uh, calculates uh, Go moves using the latest uh, neural net technology and you need to use it with a uh, user interface program like this one, uh, Sabaki. It's a graphical user interface program that's free uh, and Katago is free as well. And I've done two previous videos about uh, how to use Sabaki with Leela Zero and, uh, and then I did an update to that video. So that's, uh, you can go to those videos if you're not familiar with Sabaki and I will show you how to download and run Sabaki. And the emphasis on this video is just how to configure Sabaki to use Katago and also how to download and get Katago up and running. So first of all, uh, this has already been configured to use Katago. I got Katago running on my machine first to, to try to test out this theory, make sure it's working. So in Sabaki, you can go to game info and this is the new game. So there's no names here and uh, it's a standard game with six and a half points of Komi. You click on this pull down here and you go to attach engine and you can attach the uh, engine of your choice. And you go to manage engines here and this is where you configure the engines and you can see here that i've got a katago engine and i've also got two instances of Leela zero this is Leela zero with uh, two different network weights these are um, this is the latest neural network that i have this is from february and then the katago i just downloaded today uh, march 30th 2020. so uh, when you have a couple of engines here you can do some interesting things one thing you can do is um, now let's close that. Let's go back to game info. You can set um, the the uh, engines to play against each other. So suppose you want uh, Leela Zero here uh, playing black and Katago playing white. So now we've got a uh, we've attached those engines, and now we've, we're set up for a uh, uh, engine versus engine game. And we can go here to engines, and we can you can force it to move uh, move by move, or you can just say start. Start engines versus engine game. And you see uh, Leela Zero here is thinking. Uh, there, play to move. Katago is thinking. And you see it goes back and forth. Um, and you can watch the two engines playing out. We could uh, uh, see which one is strongest, I suppose. But uh, I don't want to uh, waste, waste the whole video watching the engines play. Um, so let's stop, stop the engines from running. One thing I wanted to point out in the uh, game info tab under manage engines when you configure an engine you you set up the time settings for each one so um, this is five seconds per move actually what the time settings mean i discovered uh, the first number is main time the second number is byoyomi time in seconds and the third number is uh, number of stones per byoyomi period so what this is saying is uh, you don't get any main time but you get five seconds for every stone that you play and that's uh and they both have the same time control so uh that's the way it's set up okay so let's get to the main part of this video let's let's uh find katago so i just did a search for katago on google and uh, the first line here takes me to the right place it's in github under light vector katago i'll have uh, pointers to these uh, uh web pages in the description of this video so you can click on them there but anyway, this takes you to the main, the Katago main page. Um, and if you want to check out the license, you'll see that it's a uh, free software. It's not the GNU license, but it's a, a generic, uh, pretty much open source license. It says you have complete freedom to copy it and use it uh, as long as you uh, keep the license and pass it along. So let's see, you scroll down this page and you can find a pointer to the releases page so it's it's uh kind of wordy but you have to you have to scroll down and find these things so you go to the releases page and uh, this is where you can actually download it and you have to download two different things you have to download the the program file and you also have to download the uh the weights file or the neural network file so uh first of all you have to decide which uh, program file to choose now i'm running on windows 10 and uh, you know i do have a uh, nvidia card but i don't have the cuda library installed so i actually tried this one first cuda uh, 10.1 windows and uh, it won't run on my machine so i need to install the cuda library if i want to run that one 
but this uh, OpenCL Windows 64-bit, this one works fine, and it does use the uh, hardware, um, so it's taking advantage of the hardware through the OpenCL library. And uh, if you have an AMD card instead of a uh, uh, NVIDIA card, uh, this one will work on both. So it's probably the best one to use for uh, general purpose use. So I'm, I'm pointing to Katago 1.3.4, that's the current version, OpenCL Windows x64.zip. So you click on that, you download it to your machine, and then you unzip the binaries. And I just want to show you where I put them. I mean, I, I downloaded the um, I downloaded the Katago, well, first you can say I downloaded CUDA there, but I downloaded the OpenCL there. And then I unzipped it, and I unzipped it into the directory go slash Katago slash uh, OpenCL. I mean, that's the default name it gives you. So I just put it in this separate directory under, under go. Go Katago and Katago OpenCL. And I say I have another directory for the CUDA version if I ever want to go back and try and resurrect that. Um, okay, and so once you've downloaded that, then you have to go back and download a uh, networks file for the neural net. And you have your choice of three of them. I just took the, uh, the first one. The, uh, this one, the number at the beginning tells you uh, how many blocks it has. So if you know something about neural nets, neural nets maybe you can <laughs> interpret that. But this version is a 20 block, this version is a 40 block. This version is a 30 block. I just took the first one. It seems to be fine. So I downloaded that. And uh, this one, even though it is a .gz, it's actually, you download it and keep it in the form. You don't, you don't uh, uncompress it. You keep it in the compressed form. And uh, I just downloaded that one directly to this directory. So that's right here, G170B30. That's the file I downloaded. And then I made a copy. I copied that to this file called defaultmodel.bin.gz. You can see they have the GZ extension. It's not showing here, but it's, it actually is, has a .gz on there. Uh, and the reason for that is um, it makes the configuration a little bit easier. Basically, if you run Katago and you have a default gtp.cfg and a defaultmodel.bin.gz in the directory where you're running Katago, it'll just find them and use them automatically. So that's pretty handy in, in doing the configuration. And so I made a copy rather than just renaming it because I might want to get a new neural nets file at some time and then I'll, I'll copy that over this one. And then I'll have a new new model that Katago will use. And then there's the uh, the binary. So, so those are the first two steps. You download and unzip Katago and then you uh, download a neural net file into the same directory. The third step is to, uh, okay, and then you make a copy of the neural net to this default model.bin. So I, I call that the third step. So the fourth step is to run a benchmark. And you have to uh, go into the, the DOS command prompt. I'm afraid to do this, so hopefully you're not afraid of that. Um, but you go to the directory where you just um, uh, uh, put all those executables. So here you see there's katago.exe, there's uh, the default uh, config file and there's the default neural nets model. And then you have to run um, a benchmark. Well, well, technically all you need to do is run a tuner, but the benchmark is, is kind of an all-in-one command here. You say dot backslash katago space benchmark while you're in that directory and it'll start running it using this default neural net file and this default config file. And so the first stage is it goes through some tuning. Now this will run for a while, maybe about uh, 15 minutes. It uh, uses the OpenCL library to recognize what uh, hardware you have. And then it does the tuning. So the tuning is trying to figure out what's the best uh, uh, configuration for your, um, for your graphics card. How can it get the most value out of it? And um, the first time you run this, it actually checks to see if you've already tuned. So I think it'll, there's a message in here. Yeah, no existing tuning parameters found parsable or valid at blah, 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 blah. So it looks for this file, which is relative to the current uh, directory. And if it doesn't find it, then it'll do the auto tuning. So you could do the tuning as a separate step and then it would skip this part. But anyway, uh, so it does all the tuning. And, uh, and then after it finishes the tuning, 
then it starts doing the benchmarking. So, so the tuning is finished and, uh, and it saved the results to that file. You'll see that's done tuning, saved results to blah, 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 dot text. So it created a directory and, and put that file in it. So that has all the, the tuning information. Um, and now it does the, the actual benchmarking using 800 visits. If you have a good CPU, you can increase this. If you have a weak CPU, you can decrease this using this dash visits parameter uh, when you type in the command. But uh, well, like I said, this whole thing ran in about 15 minutes and uh, it goes through a series of um, tests of different positions uh, using different numbers of threads. And then it decides that uh, six threads is optimal if you're intending to do a five second per move, which is the way I have it uh, set up. So um, and it turns out six uh, search threads is also the default uh, value in the config file. But you go and edit the config file and check out what um, what it is set to. So and then that's all I did from the command prompt. Let's see, here's the config file. Um, I set this up to open a notepad. Um, if you don't know how to do that, what you can do is right click on that and click on open with and then choose notepad pad, and then always use that app to open .cfg file. So, so that is, um, then you can just double click it and it'll open up. And then from here you can search for a uh, number of uh, threads. Was it threads? Yeah, let's, let's do a quick search here. <laughs> uh, find. Threads. Yeah. Oh, num search threads. I remembered my last search. Find next. So num search threads is the number of CPU threads to use. And you can see that it's set to six right here. So you just edit that with a different number if you want to, um, if you want to change that. And then you save the file and that'll automatically be used by Katago. So at this point, uh, since Katago uh, successfully ran the benchmark, um, you can now configure it to run in Sabaki. So uh, yeah, let's close these. Let's close these. Close these. Let's go back. Let's uh, let's start a new game here. That'll throw away the boards. The board that we have here. Don't bother saving this one. Um, and it brings up uh, well the new game. Let's cancel this. The new game dialog also brings up the same uh, form. But I just want to show you how to get to it from a blank screen. You have to go to this game info form again. And then you have to click on one of these two pull downs to uh, to configure the engines here. Let's set them both back to manual for now. And then you click on the pull down and you go to manage engines. And this is how you add an engine. You just um, click add here and it'll give you uh, a name, a, a space to put in a name. So this is another engine. And then you need the complete path to where the engine is. So a simple way to get that is to go here to where the Katago executable is. That's the directory we we're looking at. Just uh, highlight that and right click and then go to properties. Go to the security tab and then under, it says object name, but that is really the full path name of it. So you can highlight that, hit control C and cancel our way out of that and then come over here and hit control V. So that's copy and paste. And so that's the full path to the uh, uh, Katago. The only argument it needs is GTP. That's the argument that tells it to use this uh, go text protocol. And then down here, you need the initial commands in the go text protocol, which is uh, the time settings is all you need to specify here. And, uh, and so we've just added another engine. If we close this now, and we go to uh, game info again. And I, I do a, a click here. You'll see that I have the option of attaching Katago or another engine. <laughs> so we've got another engine there and we've got Katago here. But another engine, of course, is just another copy of uh, Katago. I just wanted to show you the full configuration. And then it's, uh, it's up and running. Uh, one last thing I wanted to mention. Oh, so go back to my other videos if you want to learn more about how to get Sabaki and uh, the things you can do with it when you have the engine. Um, the one more thing I wanted to mention while I was here was um, I looked up the Go Text protocol because I was curious what that time settings was. And I, I did find a pointer to where the Go Text protocol specified 
that's where I figured out where uh, how what time settings meant. Here's the commands. This unfortunately is a little hard to interpret this page. It's written in kind of uh, uh, ANSI legalese, <laughs> if you know what ANSI is. It's a standards body, it has a standard way of uh, describing these things. So it's described in uh, uh, excessive detail. <laughs> and you have to scroll way down to find out the actual uh, interesting things, like what are the commands and which ones are required. Here's the list of all commands where I found the time settings under, under setup commands. So. Um, yeah, oh, under tournament commands, time settings. Uh, so anyway, I just, I'll include a pointer to that too. So that's if you're curious about the Go text protocol, uh, you can find out about it there. So is there anything else I want to say about Sabaki? Here, let's, let's play a game where it's me against, uh, me against, uh, uh, Katago. Let's see. So I'll be black. Katago will be white. Let's click, uh, okay here there is um under engines you can show the engine sidebar oh, yeah i wanted to show this it's handy because um you can uh have uh, you see the output of what the the engine is saying there so let's see i'll play a move and you see catago starts thinking and then it plays a move i'll play another move and it thinks while and plays it a move um, but anyway, if something goes wrong, you can turn on this uh, engine sidebar and uh, maybe find out what went wrong. There's these scrolling bars around here. So if, uh, if you, uh, let's see, can I get to that? Yeah, there we go. We can scroll up and down. You can scroll back and see if uh, maybe there was an error earlier you want to check out. Um, from the engines tab up here, you can turn on analysis. What this will do is it'll show you the hot spots on the board and the win percentage is associated with each move. So, so I can play against uh, Katago, but I can also take advantage of uh, where, where it thinks I should play. Like right here, it thinks I should dive into the 3-3. So I'll go ahead and play there. And then it responded. It can respond very quickly sometimes, much more so than Leela Zero. I don't know why. See how it slaps that stone down instantly, even though it has five seconds. Other times it'll think a little bit longer, but maybe it's already uh, expecting that move. So if I play a totally random move, yeah, it'll probably stop and think for a little bit before making a move. Yeah, used its full seconds. But if I play something that it's expecting, then it just uh, responds immediately. <laughs> okay, so anyway, that's it for this video. Have fun with this. And like I said, go back and uh, review my previous videos about uh, Sabaki and uh, Lilo Zero if you want to learn more about uh, what you can do with the, the user interface and an engine. Bye now.